Well, hi everyone, this is Bob the Science Guy, and today I want to kind of give you an update. For the last few days, I've been following the Flat Earth community and watching its slow disintegration. Even Nathan Oakley is becoming a little bit more benign and subdued right now when he realizes that his entire position has been destroyed and he's trying desperately to convince his panel members that somehow it's not. However, I saw a video today that I really think that we ought to highlight, and it's from my old friend, P-Brain. So rather than do an awful lot of talking, I'm just going to sit here, get my bag of popcorn, get a cherry Coke, and let's sit down and let P-Brain present his case. Well, it's a couple few days after this final experiment. I'm still not buying it. I didn't buy it before. I just can't get over why now, in 2024, soon to be 2025. If this were real, all these years, like let's say, let's go back to the beginning of 2015 when Flat Earth was taken off, right? Why wouldn't people who lived in this environment out there in the summer, there's a lot of people out there at Antarctica in the summer, why wouldn't they have been going... Wow, there's a 24-hour sun. Hey, guys. And, you know, maybe call the news media out and say, hey, there's this flat earth thing that's a disinformation. It's a big lie. And, man, we see a 24-hour sun above the horizon, just like you do in the North Pole. We see it here at the South Pole. Why wouldn't they have done that back then to nip this in the bud? Why instead did we get fake video, right? Edited video. So it doesn't make sense. You know, that was exculpatory evidence for the ball, which they withheld. That's like you have evidence to exonerate you or set you free. And somebody's accusing you of a crime and you have that evidence and you don't show it. Or if you do show it, you make one a fake one. <laughs> you know, why would you make a fake if you have the real? And why not blast that? That's a big evidence. For the ball, that's a big crushing blow to the flat earth. You know, I've mentioned this before. My very first flat earth video was in November of 2018. That's well over six years ago. And the subject of that video, why planes don't have to dip their nose when they fly around the curve. I figured that as a licensed pilot who flies on a regular basis, I would be well suited to answer this question and simply put it to rest. Yet this month, we are still getting videos talking about planes dipping their nose around the horizon. You know, P-Brain, I'm going to go ahead and answer your question for you and then simply allow you to go on to mine biblical quantities of copium in light of the results of the final experiment. The reason that you have not seen this before is because you didn't want to see it. The first video that I put up a moment ago was put out 11 years ago, and it very clearly shows the 24-hour sun. For the last 11 years, those of you in the flat earth have sat down and tried to find every possible excuse to deny the overwhelming evidence that there is a 24-hour sun in Antarctica. However, that's the hill you picked to die on, and now <laughs> the Sioux and the Cheyenne are coming to get you. You know, one of the reasons that after Custer's last stand, they punctured his eardrums with sewing needles was to send a message. When people tell you things, it's best to listen. You've been informed about the 24-hour sun from eyewitnesses for at least 10 years. Why was the news media not informed? Two reasons. One, it's very, very well known. It's been known for as long as we've been going to Antarctica that there's a 24-hour sun down there during their summer. The other thing is the news media does not pay much attention to conspiracy theorists other than that they exist and Congress is actually taking action to prevent the spread of misinformation on social media. That's the only reason you would ever come to their attention. I know this hurts your egos, but nobody really cares about the flat earth. But it's time for more popcorn. Let's turn it back to pea brain. Why wouldn't you come out and just, you know, have multiple videos just one after another of all the people that live there and just make it ridiculous overwhelm us with it well they didn't you know another one it's like 
you're you're a football team and you've got a running back that's just unstoppable. He can score almost every time he gets the ball. Yet you you hold on to him for almost eight years and you don't put him out there. And now in 2024, almost 2025, you you decide to uh, now we're going to put him out. <laughs> He's going to start as our running back, and now we're going to start winning. This makes no sense. So I, I that that's a stumbling block. I can't get on board with this. I know there's somebody who came up with some kind of using glass domes or you know and and a mirror. I, I don't know, but still that would mean that. You know, and he's saying that this is a phenomenon that we should see. Well, again, if we did see it, why didn't they come out? I don't believe they see it. Uh, you know, it's a nice uh, thing you did with the uh, glass domes and the mirror and all that, but I don't buy it because then they would have had it. They would have seen, they would have been able to film a 24-hour sun going around, staying above the horizon, a 360 time lapse. But they, all they did, they gave us fake video. It's kind of like, you know, in all these years, uh, I've, you know, done a couple of videos on people saying that us flat earthers, we won't even believe uh, footage from space. Then the same person is showing me footage from space of the Earth, and they're using duplicate clouds. There's fake clouds. You know, believe it or not, I find myself agreeing with P-Brain. The 24-hour Antarctic sun is devastating to the flat Earth, and it is exculpatory of the globe. His argument was that if we had this linebacker, if we had this exculpatory evidence, why didn't we put it out? Well, I mean, it's very obvious we have been putting it out for many years. The only reason that you didn't see that is you did acknowledge that it was out. You're showing clips of it in your own video, but you're claiming it's all fake. One of the purposes of the final experiment was to address that denial. They actually brought some legitimate flat earthers down to the Antarctic continent to see it for themselves. Was that necessary? Absolutely not. We do science in Antarctica all the time. This is not really open to debate anymore. Problem is one of trust with the flat earthers. They don't trust anybody that is not a flat earther. Hence, they brought flat earthers down there to see it for themselves. And as a result, Jaron, one of the larger channels on YouTube promoting the flat earth, is no longer a flat earther. So even though you're no longer your normal, boisterous, braggart self, you acknowledge that this is devastating to the flat earth. So you can almost hear in his voice the wheels in his head turning desperately as his eyes dart up to the side as he looks for inspiration to try and figure out a way to cope with this. Uh, is there a way to mitigate this disaster for the flat earth that is called the final experiment? P-Brain, you're not going to find it. Flat Earth is done. But let's hear you try some more because I have more popcorn. You know, I, I don't know what they did. Did they film this in June at the North Pole? Uh, is it all CGI? And a commenter on my channel, great comment, said, why haven't they advertised, hey, and, and made accommodations for come see the 24-hour sun in Antarctica? Why didn't they push this? They could have destroyed Flat Earth years and years, eight years ago, but they didn't until now. So why is it now? Does it have to do with Trump winning the election because there's a whole lot of Jesus talk now, a whole lot of getting back to Jesus? So this was a way of getting Christians, convince them that no, no, the ball earth model is true. I, I don't know. The timing of it is curious. Well, you know, P. Brain, I really try and avoid politics on this channel. You know, there are Republicans and Democrats that are followers of mine. I have no issue with any of them. Now, a couple of things that I do want to address. Your meme right here, where did the sun go? It's behind the pole. Congratulations, you have discovered glare. The sun itself is relatively small. The glare that surrounds it without a solar filter is really quite large, and you've just very nicely demonstrated it. But the thing that utterly amazes me about Flat Earth YouTube creators is that they don't understand these very, very basic optical properties of sunlight. Yet they make stupid memes like this. Where did the sun go? Well, it's obviously behind the light post. You know, I didn't 
enter the light pole, dip below the horizon, and then come back up and appear on the other side of the light pole from where it disappeared. This is something Otis, my cat, could probably figure out. He wouldn't look for the mouse at the base of the light pole. He'd look for the mouse on the other side of the light pole. And he's a cat. He has a brain the size of a walnut. Unfortunately, I think he's got better common sense than the vast majority of these YouTube creators that promote the flat earth. I, I don't know. The timing of it is curious. You know, makes no sense whether they, they, maybe they filmed it. There's a lot of speculation. I've heard people say, you know, maybe they all went to the North Pole in June and filmed a 24-hour sun. Or, like I said, maybe everything's just CGI. So now you want us to believe just a video. It's Hollywood. And you don't think they have Hollywood's got their ear or they, they can uh, consult with Hollywood people on how to do a, a really great, you know, overlapping and layering video. They can, they can do whatever. And some people you get supposedly in the flat earth, whatever, that will go along with your story. I don't know. Not saying they did, but if that was something that you wanted to use, I mean, that's that's easy. You know, and as I've covered in my videos on rotation, you would have to have, unless you're saying we're geocentric now, just this ball and the whole, you know, everything around it, the sun, moon, and stars are rotating around us, because otherwise you need rotation for your ball to cause this look of the sun going around, because you guys say it's not the sun that's moving, it's the earth. Well, I've already debunked. And, and I know you guys call it the final experiment when it's really an observation. You know, P-Brain, it's fine and dandy you think you somehow debunked rotation. Well, the problem with that is many of us have actually verified it. Mechanical gyro compasses will not work unless the Earth is a rotating sphere. Fiber optic gyroscopes confirm the 15 degree per hour drift. Thanks, other Bob. Rest in peace. My personal experiment using changing weight with latitude was combined with the experiments of at least 15 or so other people in a single video done by Critical Think, who was one of the Globers that went to Antarctica, and he repeated the experiment there, measuring the weight of a reference mass close to the geographic South Pole, certainly much closer than Australia, Michigan, or Florida was. It verified the oblate spheroid of the Earth. And that was only one of 15 or more experiments that were performed in Antarctica. Now let me say a couple of words in conclusion. Y'all made your bed. Now it's time you live in it. In the Flat Earth, you have made a lot of really dumb statements over the years. You have never listened to evidence to the contrary, just simply poo-pooing it and claiming that it's fake. However, this is the hill you picked, and now they're coming for you. I think that most of the major Flat Earthers are coming to this devastating realization. Nathan is becoming less manic. You obviously sound like you're really struggling with this. And the rest of us, well, we've been here all along. So this is Bob the Science Guy signing out from Northern Michigan. Thank you very much for stopping by. I do appreciate you watching my videos. I put a lot of work into them and it makes me happy to hear that people are enjoying them and commenting on them and perhaps gaining a little something from them. Make sure you drop me a like and subscribe. The telescope fund is listed in the description, and if you look at it and decide that's something that you want to do, I would certainly love the help. So, take care, everyone.